But this guy is a real deal. I mean, he's up there taking pictures. He's getting walks. He's not too anxious. I mean, to be 20 years old, uh, I think he's more like he's 20 going on 40. <laughs> you know, this guy is so mature at the plate. Behind the dish, he's, he's calling great games. He, he has uh, big hands. He can frame pitches, and, and uh, he throw, throws guys out. He was a quarterback going to Florida State, so uh, you know he has a great arm. I don't think it uh, could have went you know, any better than it did, you know. Uh, to go number one, you know, with the hometown team, it's it's kind of like a fairy tale, you know. You don't really, it doesn't happen a whole lot. And uh, I was just uh, thankful that they took me, and uh, I was just real excited. I grew up seven miles from the Metronome, so there's a lot of them. You know, I'd go watch them, you know, any chance I could get. And, uh, you know, I grew up idolizing guys like Ken Herbeck and Kirby Puckett. So uh, it's fun, you know, now I get a chance to meet those guys. They come back and, you know, uh, hang out and stuff like that. And, it's, it's, it's real cool for me. He wants to learn. He asks a lot of questions and uh, uh, he comes up to you with this big smile. He comes in the clubhouse with a big smile. He's not, you know, talking loud. You know, he's a first rounder. So he doesn't come in the house, I mean, in the clubhouse like uh, he's a, a big dog. You know, he comes in the clubhouse to learn as much as he can. And, uh, and that's what I like about Joe Mao. He, he goes out there and he does his job.